and look at this beauty. Wow, and I didn't know this, the bottom is black? That is cool, you learn something new every day. Hey, Wear Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome technology videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, tech accessories, computers, tablets, cases, and just really so much more. But anyway, folks, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this guy right here. This is the brand new Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and numeric keypad in this new color with black keys and a silver aluminum body. Did I just say aluminum? I meant to say aluminum, but I guess after watching all those Johnny Ive uh, promotional videos about Apple products, it just kind of slipped out. But anyway, without further ado, let's start getting this guy out of the box. Here we go. So folks, here we are. Uh, up close and personal with this box. As you can see, we got a picture of the keyboard with those black keys. It says Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. And over here on the back, we can go ahead and start opening it up. So it looks like we can just peel this little arrow right here. Okay, let's see, how do we do this? We can peel it off and then voila, now we can pull the keyboard out and wow, there it is. I can already start clickety clacking on it. And this is empty right here. We can put this to the side and let's pull the keyboard itself out. Here we go, we can put that down nice and gently. And look at this, what you get in the box now. Who are you guys kidding? This is definitely the star of the show, right? This is a black USB-C to lightning cable and it's also braided. So if this isn't cool, folks, I don't know what is. I'm definitely gonna be excited to use this to, for example, charge up my AirPods Max, which came with a white lightning cable. I mean, why would I want that when I can get this cool black one that is once again braided? But I guess that's what you get when you pay $200 for a keyboard. Yes, this keyboard is $200, which is kind of crazy, but hey, is what it is. And then right here, we've also got some paperwork but now that we've seen what was in the box we can go ahead and rip this sort of plasticky covering off the keyboard and we can put this to the side and look at this beauty wow and i didn't know this the bottom is black that is cool you learn something new every day we've also got some four little feet right there on the bottom of the keyboard and here it is as you can see we've got the touch id fingerprint reader right there and we've also got the numbers over here for the numeric keypad this is a cool keyboard and now if you guys are wondering my current keyboard that i use all the time with my computer is actually an apple magic keyboard as well but this is a really really old one i've had it for so many years as you can see it does not have a touch id sensor and it is also with white keys and i've been wanting a keyboard with black keys for a while because i do have the 2021 m1 pro 16 inch macbook pro which has obviously a black keyboard so i always thought these white keys looked kind of weird so i'm definitely I'm definitely glad I finally got this one right here and also added bonus of the touch ID. But yeah, I've been using this keyboard for so long because I just like the way it feels. Did you see that? It's nice and clicky right there. Um, so yeah, now I'm happy I can upgrade it to this new Apple Magic keyboard. So let's go ahead and get it hooked up to my computer. Ooh, lightning port right there. That is for charging it up. We can go ahead and flip the on switch. Oh yeah, nice and luxurious. So folks, anyway, now I have the Magic keyboard right here, all nice and connected to my M1 one pro macbook pro which is plugged into my monitor right here so without further ado let's start using this keyboard and i've got to say setup process super easy just turn it on went into settings and found this keyboard in bluetooth settings tapped connect and boom just like that it was all connected so anyway let's type on it so here i am typing on this keyboard and i've got to say and i've got to say sorry i'm talking faster than i'm typing i like this keyboard so basically it feels a lot like my past magic keyboard which once again i've had for years and years uh besides you know not as worn out i guess so the the keys have maybe a bit more resistance to them when i hit them but overall i still love the feel of it it feels really clickety clackety and this is just the type of keyboard I like to type on. So that's really nice right there. I also really appreciate this black color because once again, I think it looks good with the uh, keyboard of my MacBook Pro. It would be cool though if instead of silver, this was space gray aluminum, so it would match the aluminum on my computer, but still this looks so much better than white keys. I also really like the Touch ID. As soon as I connected this keyboard to my Mac, Touch ID was already working. I didn't have to like reset it up or anything. So now, for example, let me show you. I can go ahead and put my computer 
computer to sleep, then I can wake it back up, tap the space bar, and then once it wakes back up, I can go ahead and place my finger on the Touch ID, and boom, really quick and really easy, it unlocks. Now this saves me all the struggle of having to reach over here and touch this Touch ID key on my laptop when I have it connected to my monitor. I can just go ahead and tap it right there, so that is really nice. Um, also, another thing is there are a lot of cool keys on this keyboard. For example, right here, this globe key is actually an emoji key. So if I go ahead and tap that, I can see all these different emoji. I can go ahead and maybe add the cheeseburger emoji to this document. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, other things too, we do have a bunch of controls up here on the top row of the keyboard. For example, I can increase my laptop's brightness, decrease it right there. I can also use some playback controls right here, like skip to the previous track, play slash pause, and skip to the next track. In addition to volume controls right here, so volume up, volume down, or even mute, I have those options. And another cool key, I actually have this key on my M1 Pro MacBook Pro right here. This is the Do Not Disturb key. So with the push of this key, I turn Do Not Disturb on. So now you'll see if I come over here on my M1 Pro MacBook Pro, Do Not Disturb is on. But then if I go ahead and tap this key again, it is off. So that is kind of nice right there. You just have quick key access to that. And now last but not least, you know what I'll do? I think I will try out that numeric uh, keypad right here because on all the keyboards I've ever personally owned, including on laptops, they have not had this numeric keypad. So I'm interested to see what one is like. I'll just keep it simple and I'll just do something like, I don't know, how about one plus one equals, uh, no, that's a minus. Okay. So where's the delete? Delete. Uh, wrong delete. This delete equals two. Boom. Simple math right there with the numeric keypad. Oh yeah. But now guys, look at this. So after filming this video, I was trying to charge my AirPods Max with this USB-C to lightning cable in this special black and braided color. And unfortunately over here with the lightning connector, the little plasticky piece comes off. It is not solidly put into place there. And as you can see, I can also replicate that and make it come off here. And that is really, really unfortunate because on the other end, the USB-C end, it is not like that. And obviously cables are not supposed to do that. So that makes me very sad. And I mean, yeah, folks, with that, there's not really much more to say about this keyboard in this nice, quick, easy, where notice unboxing of it right here. If you do want this Apple Magic keyboard with numeric keypad and touch ID and black keys, and man, that is definitely a mouthful right there, it will set you back about $200. So it is definitely on the more expensive side. But be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this keyboard. Do you have it for yourselves? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Because I do read all the comments, by the way. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Where Notice Technology YouTube channel for or more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.